Okay, so we wrote the differential equation for the magnetic flux in the previous video. And so we are dealing with a system where there's a black hole and there's um, the accretion disk. And then there's the inner edge. And then there's this region out here. And we assume axis symmetry and time independence. And so basically the solution, uh, the equations are applied only in a region that looks like something like this and here as well and this is the end of the disk and so we actually have um, so we were dealing with an equation for the disk right so this is the accretion disk uh, here's the black hole and this region is called the magnetosphere Right, there's a magnetic field in this region and so we need to also uh, we need to find boundary conditions here and apply some equations here and usually right, we're talking about the, the BC the Blanford's Nyack uh, mechanism and so in here we impose or they impose the force uh, free condition we won't go into details here but it basically means that um, the plasma moves along magnetic field lines, uh, electromagnetism uh, dominates, and the, the inertia, the gravitational forces here don't, don't really matter. Uh, there are subtleties there, and there, there, there are issues with that, with that simplification. Of course, we still have, uh, this is still true here as well. And then another simplification that I've uh, complained about in other videos that is used is this, right? The proper electric field uh, is uh, zero here. Um, and uh, so basically the, the kinds of things that you get uh, involves, so you have a magnetic field Let's maybe make it with a different color. You have a red magnetic field, right? So you impose some boundary conditions and you have a magnetic field that's threading the disk and it starts to be dragged inward, right? This is a, well, uh, the equation that we had we wrote before for the disk involves uh, the dragging versus the diffusion equation, right? The, uh, with the eta term was there, right? That the term with the eta term, uh, involves a competition of dragging and diffusion and so we end up get doing something like this um, and then we end up putting some magnetic field on the black hole and so the black hole uh, the magnetic flux it writes the integral of the magnetic field on the on the black hole that's a key to understanding the jet uh, power um, uh, and uh, we have a boundary condition here that says that the magnetic field can't uh, remain and can't cross this region. Um, there are subtleties there. Maybe I'll point you to um, the literature. We, we, we've done this in Good Awful 2009. Uh, this is, uh, I think it's App J, something like that. Um, what else should we add here? Uh, I think uh, so. The, the the power of the jet uh, the, depends on the magnetic flux. So according to the theory, right, the magnetic flux A phi, uh, there's a a dependence. And that so we solve for the a phi, and that that in that way we we are, we manage to get the jet power that's generated from from the black hole.